Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me yeah, about that yeah, refi. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is as Ace has said, we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars yeah. a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Look at y'all coming up in here. Wanting to get crazy. Wanting to get crazy. What was that? What was that Dolly Parton song? Why'd you come in here looking like that? Yeah. And there another one I hear. Oh, here you come again. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They shit too. I'd for, I'd forgot about it. Why'd you come in here looking like no, that? Is that the one from the movie? I think so, maybe with from, Sylvester uh, Stallone, Ryan. So, uh, but it's why'd you come in here? You got to put a little bit of a just a teensy tiny bit of a Y sound in with it. Why'd you come in here? So here looking. Why'd you come in, in here, here looking, looking like, like that? that? Your cowboy boots and your painted on you know, jeans and your and big old butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is a sad story, and I, it came out I think yesterday um, afternoon. But it's one of those deals where people always joke like this would be a great situation but then you talk to somebody or hear from somebody who's in the situation and you're like hey it's not all it's cracked up to be you know like people always say that that you know i, I wish i was so quick-witted and funny and all as, as you are tj and then i'll say well you know it's not it's not all it's cracked up to be because people expect you to be that way all the time and in order to be yourself, you have to just retreat to aloneness, you know. Well, That's being, what I tell them. Being funny took a harsh mm. turn there, didn't it? <laughs> but this fellow's got a foot-long penis. Uh, whoa. Okay. What? Yeah. And so he was on some talk show in the UK, and um, he was he was explaining all of the problems that he has with it. Now, it's not like that guy that was such a sad story that had those giant uh, balls that he had to carry around in a milk crate, yeah. you know, sit on a milk crate every time. It's not like that. And that guy had passed, right? Yeah, he had, had, he yeah. had been passed. 
Is this, this the guy that went viral on TikTok? Oh, I don't know. The this guy, his name is Matt Barr. Um, he's the UK's most well-endowed man. But the whole story is worth this reference to his penis. And the British can come up with some stuff like this sometimes. It's so great. The UK's most well-endowed man, Matt Barr, claims that his titanic tallywhacker has <laughs> caused him some big problems. <laughs> his titanic tallywhacker. Tally. Mm. You talk about an alliteration. I mean, that's just yeah. dead on. Now, when I was growing up, that's what we called it. A tallywhacker? A tallywhacker, yeah. yeah. Is Titanic. And I don't know, but I only. Titanic I, I never heard many other people call it that. Yeah, I've heard that my, my whole life growing up. We don't started you growing up. You're not supposed to hit your brother in the tallywhacker. <laughs> it's All a. Right. But that's just a funny word to me. It's hilarious. He's not the guy rigging. The girth master is Australian. Oh, uh, okay. Not English. Mm. Um, but this guy says the problems um, are dating difficulties, sexploitation. And perhaps most embarrassingly, getting booted from yoga class because people thought he was aroused. He's just in there trying to do some yoga. Yeah. I get that. And uh, he's got such a uh, titanic tallywhacker that they thought, get you freak, you're in here being all difficult in the pants. Yeah, that'll freak people out. And he also, and, he can't go in and say, hey, just so you know, mm. you know before we start this class, I, I mean, this thing's a foot long, so it's going to be visible. Yeah. Like you mean, can't do how do you what do you do in that case you got to wear some super baggy outfit right? i would guess and maybe tie it to your leg yeah like some, oh, you, you have to wear some compression yeah, shorts yeah, and then wear a big you know oh my gosh he said i'm trying to dispel some of the stigmas um talking about again the british writing here uh I'm trying to dispel some of the stigmas bar 40 declared while discussing these well hung hardships. Oh my God. <laughs> You're not going to be able to find, he's not going to be able to have a real, there yeah. are, well, he as talks great about as it that. sounds, women aren't going to be into that. They're like that. I, that's painful. That's too uh, much. The bulging Brit reportedly boasts <laughs> Britain's biggest penis, which measures more than 12 inches long. Uh, when erect. Ah, so okay. I was going to ask. That's more than twice the global average of 5.1 inches. <laughs> and while having a supersized schlong. <laughs> Whoever wrote this had a I lot of fun it. with it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and while having a supersized schlong might seem like every man's dream, it's apparently not all that's cracked up to be. Um, People have learned a lot of myths from pornography, lamented the unlucky stiff. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Who was shy about his situation growing up. They don't realize the implications that it would have when you're actually living with a situation on a day-to-day -day basis. These implications, which he deals with in his upcoming autobiography, a long story, life with one of the world's largest penises. <laughs> <laughs> a long story he, uh wow you probably can't even wear shorts with something like that uh probably not he says um one of the problems is um broaching the subject on a date he says it's difficult because it's not something you really spring on people as a surprise but it just does scare people away generally the phallically gifted fellow described oh my god <laughs> that's funny obviously you don't want to be too creepy and bring it up too early yeah what point would you would you say that i mean you on the first date say you you hook up with somebody on the on the plenty of fish yeah and you're out meeting them and hey well what do you like to do for, tell me about yourself and she's like oh I like this and that, and I go to plays and whatever Brits do. <laughs> How about you, Matt? Well, I'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. 
I have one of the world's largest penises. Yeah. I have a Titanic tallywhacker. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been called a Titanic tallywhacker. That's his email address, uh, Titanic Tallywhacker yeah. at gmail.com. <laughs> hmm. uh, so not to mention that, uh, contrary to popular belief, having a behemoth manhood can paradoxically be an inconvenience in the boudoir. No. Well. They love the idea more than the practicality, lamented Barr. In porn, there's a lot of filters being used. It's very small bodies, lots of camera angles and stuff. So when they face someone who's actually that size, it's not what they want. Um, see, that's the kind of stuff usually people with a small penis would say. Oh, that's camera angles and yeah. that's, you know, that's camera tricks. He said there are a lot of people who like it for a bragging point of view added the Brit who claims that some opportunists have even tried to cash on cash in on his massive member during a nightmare encounter bar was given uh, it was even catfished by a woman who tried to get him to appear on her only fans page under the guise of a normal date this battle of the bulge has gotten him in trouble in non-romantic situations as well, including one mortifying instance where he was accused of getting titillated during a yoga class. He said, I was wearing a very baggy shirt and shorts, but because of the yoga positions, people just got the wrong idea. Uh, oh, my God. I think this is probably the best line of the whole thing so far. Long story short, <laughs> Barr was kicked out of the class. I love the writer of this because you cannot uh, take this seriously. Long story short. Um, Can you go back a second? The OnlyFans lady tried to. Yeah, she said it was like um, she was setting him up. Well, hold on. Under the, say, under the guise of well, a normal it, date. Yeah, and it didn't say she, so it, it could have been a guy. Okay. Uh, I, I said she, but I shouldn't have. I always didn't just say assume she. only fans people are, yeah. are women also. Um, no, 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 it was. It says catfished yeah. by a woman who tried to get him to appear on their OnlyFans page under the guise of a normal date. So like a normal uh, date that would end, uh, one normal date would end with them uh, in yeah. the bedroom in front of a camera? Yeah. uh-huh. Okay. Well, she said let's you know that she met him on the dating site yeah. and pretended like she just wanted to go out with him but then he got over there and she said actually what i want you to do is be on oh, only fans okay okay okay, okay. Oh. yeah um so long story short bar was kicked out of class despite the cons of possessing a giant phallus the sexually enhanced man doesn't plan on getting his manhood reduced anytime soon it's a very expensive surgery it costs about uh, let's see. For us, it would be $18,681. It's only done normally in the cases of tumors and things like that. In case you're a, in, in the case of normal function, it's not common. Barr says he ultimately hopes to dispel the stigma surrounding discussing his phallus, explaining, I don't see why there's any difference talking about this and talking about your breasts or any other bod bodily part. Yeah. It's not sexualized. It's not just it's just a fact of life. The Brit isn't the only man who's experienced problems due to his plus sized penis. There is a radio host and podcaster in North Carolina who goes by the name TJ who went oh <laughs> New York's Jonah Falcon. Y'all remember that name, Jonah yeah, Falcon? Yeah. Claims to possess the world's largest penis, a whopping thirteen and a half inch beast says he's fed up with showing people his jumbo johnson well don't do it yeah he hates yeah. it but why do it I, if somebody I, well, says hey let me anymore. see it well no say no they used to he does like this yankees radio show on am radio in new york and the guys from howard stern he only wanted to talk about yankee stuff and the guys from howard stern would call him to this yankee show and go just tell us about your wiener and he would freak out and then <laughs> It was the only calls he would receive because nobody's listening to that show. Yeah. He used to freak out. But it's like, that's your namesake. You're, yeah, you have the yeah. world's biggest wiener. Then keep it to your, right, keep it to yourself. If you don't 
want people talking about. Would you ever ask another man to show you his wiener in, no. no matter what? No. I don't think I would either. I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't, as a matter of fact. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> Especially a stranger. <laughs> yeah. Unless there had been an injury or something. Like, oh, you know, like that old story, man, about that. But them two old boys, they was best friends. They're out hunting. And uh, they're walking along and uh, come across the rattlesnake. And that rattlesnake jumped up, bit one of them right on his schlong. And uh, his buddy said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He said, go find help. Ask them what we need to do. I'm getting woozy. So his buddy takes off. Runs into town and asks the doctor. He says, my buddy, my best friend just got bit on his on his thing by a rattlesnake, and I don't know what to do to help him. What should I do, Doc? And Doc tells him, and he runs back out there, and his friend said, what did the doctor say? He said, the doctor, wait a minute. I messed up. So the doctor said, you, you got to uh, suck that poison out of there. So he runs back to his buddy, and he says, what did the doctor say? He said, the doctor said, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up there, but you see, because he was saying, ain't no way I'm sucking I'm the poison that. out of that. Doing that. I ain't doing that. <laughs> Is this guy attractive or ugly? <laughs> ugly. He's ugly. That's you're the, you're talking about the, the, the British guy? Yeah. I mean, that's Well, the, I mean, I don't know. I mean. You got this huge, you're blessed with this huge penis, and then you got a face like a foot. Uh, I mean, y'all Let's tell see. me. Is it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he could be. <laughs> he could. He could be much better looking but he yeah. was trying to get <laughs> he's trying to get in better shape and all yeah. and they kicked him out of yogurt class yeah slinging yogurt class <laughs> <laughs> it's the ace and tj show with a little something extra this is the extra funny podcast when it comes to losing weight sometimes you don't even know where to start you know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University Area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a tj.com slash culvers